EA dropped a brand new icon pick, the 91 plus Encore Icon Player Pick. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. This includes Team of the Year, Ultimate Birthday, or Great of the Game icons. So hopefully we can get some of those amazing Greats of the Game icons. We've got the likes of Rivaldo, Haji, Dalgli, some of really, really nice cards. Uh, let's just see what we get. Here we go. First icon pick. Come on, EA. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. I'll happily take that. I don't know if he's worth loads anymore, but I guarantee that card still performs in game. I'll happily take that. And he's still worth 700k. That is really nice. I remember when this guy got his first ever moments card and he was in my team back in like FIFA 19 for like the whole year. I loved that card. So I'm really excited to try this card out as well. Um, yeah, I'm actually really happy. That is a solid pull. Good start. All right, we have got Jack's icon pick next. Let's see what he gets. Ooh, oh, that Omri's sick. D don't ignore Omri, whatever you do. Because that Omri is incredible. Petit is a great to the game icon. I get it. That Omri is still incredible in this game. I don't know. I, honestly, I think I'd have gone on Henri there. Petit's obviously a new card, so it's nice and shiny. But that Henri is, is phenomenal. I don't know. That's tough, man. That's tough. Really, really nice, though. That's a nice player pick again. Back-to-back -back decent ones. All right, I built the second one on my account because they are twice repeatable. Two really good ones. I didn't realize Henri was 2.6 million, by the way. I knew it was very expensive. That's why I was nervous he was going to pick Petit. But I didn't realize it was that expensive. That is crazy. All right, here we go. Second one on my account now. What we got? I'm pretty sure that's two out of three of the exact same as my first one. Like, I am almost certain I got Matthias and Blanc in the first one as well. Ruba Nisseroy, United past and present. Welcome to the club, but... Very, very interesting from EA there. So this icon player pick is sitting at around 280k, which I think is reasonable. That's a W. You will take Petit. He's over double the price of the pick. So that is a that is a good one, to be fair. And that card is nice in game. And I think I think can still get an upgrade. Because France have only scored three goals, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, have they even scored three? I think they might have only scored like two or one. Maybe he can get two upgrades. Yeah, they've only scored one. They've only, they've only beat Austria 1-0 and drew 0-0 versus the Netherlands. So maybe they beat Poland 3-0 and get double upgrades on Petit. Next one's going to be... Ooh, Hernandez. That's not a bad looking card. Uh, Mexico played last night. So I have absolutely no idea how they did. I can quickly check though. He's worth about the price of the pick. Um, I'm actually going to check how uh, Mexico did last night real quick. Um, how did Mexico do last night? Mexico won one nil. So there you go. One more goal and he gets an upgrade. All right, we go again. Next player pick now for Nathan. Oh my word. These are paying out. Haji, that is another W. He's only had one upgrade so far. Could get another upgrade. I think they only have to score one goal, right? They beat Ukraine three nil. Um, so if they score one goal in their last group game, that could be a 97 rated Haji card. He's already 2.3 million, by the way. These are paying out, baby. All right, Dan the Gooners icon player pick next. Come on, yeah, continue playing out, please. paying out, please. Okay, we got our first L. Why has Dan got to be the one that gets the first L almost every time, man? Always. Don't get me wrong, Van is decent, but he's already got him. So it's like, it's, that's brutal. All right, next one. Come on, EA. Let's go back to winning ways, please. We're one minute until quarter past six, which could be a rotation change as well. I don't, I can't be bothered. I, can, I actually can't be asked. What is going on with these player picks, man? What is going on with these player picks, man? <laughs> Team of the year, R9. I cannot believe what is going on with these player picks, man. What? Team of the year, R9. I can finally put him in a thumbnail. And I'm not lying. 
Let's go, baby. What a W. All right, we have got Lala's player picks now. I actually can't believe it. Leave a like, by the way. If that, if that R9 does not deserve a like, I don't know what does. Here we go with two more. Let's see what we get. First one's going to be... Okay, that's not great. That's not great. It has just gone quarter past six, so the rotation might change. Blanc's not bad. Don't get me wrong. Blanc is actually decent, but 93 Raul it is. I think this card's five star, five star, though. All right, next one. What are we saying? Come on. Please, EA. Ooh, birthday Alberto's a W still. That card is very, very nice. He is worth about 650, 700k. Can play CB, though. CB, four star, five star, 91 pace. That is a nice card. You'll take that. That's solid. Raul wasn't great. Raul's probably not much. He's about the price of the pick, actually. Maybe I'm being harsh on him. Uh, could have been a lot worse. Right, Michael's player pick now. We joined just as it was opening. He's got himself Boutra. It's not a terrible card, but at this stage of the game, like, so many bad cards, unfortunately. That's the harsh reality. It's like, a is not a bad card. Um, but it's like... In June, where you've got things like the Darwin Nunes SPC, who's a monster card and whatnot. Even though the card's like 500k nearly, it's just like, I don't know. At least it's good for Kem and things like that, though. All right, Jack's second icon pick now. Let's see if he can get another dub. I forgot who we got the first one, but it was good. It was good. <sighs> Definitely feels like there may have been a rotation change at quarter past six. That's pain. Vanessar, though. United past and present will take that. All right, Steve-O's got his second Icon player pick next. Let's see what Steve-O gets from Icon pick numero two. Ooh, Ribery. That's not bad. That's a card that... The only annoying thing about that Ribery is it did come out as an SBC, if I remember correctly. But it's still a decent card. He's worth about 370, so it's more than the pick. But it's just a li that little bit boring because he was available as an SBC. So it's like... It's not a unique card. We've got Dario's icon pick next. Let's see what we get. Really good for the United past and present. <laughs> Van der Sar is the pick there. Good goalie in game. United fan as well. So United PMP, but bit of a nail. Oscar has sent in his clip and he packed Rivaldo, which is nice. 97 Rivaldo. That is a dubski to be fair. All right, we've got Mr. Wizard's icon pick next. He's a massive Norwich fan, so he's buzzing about the Sergeant SBC, which I think is really cool. I like that. Uh, I like EA giving out SBCs to, to different players like that. And we go and get ourselves... Well, it's lagged a bit, but it's Davos Suka or Hernandez. I think Hernandez is good. Five-star, five-star. Davos Suka's 96 rated as well, to be fair. Uh, and can still get an upgrade, I believe. So it could have been worse. All right, Nathan's second pick. He got Hadji in the first one. Let's see what we get in pick number two now. Zambrotta is good. Zambrotta is genuinely really good still. I don't think he gets into Nathan's team. Because Nathan's got Kyle Walker. He's got... he's got Teams at this stage of the game are insane. But Zambrotta is genuinely good. It's just... At this stage... Yeah. He's not really getting into many people's teams. So Raul is the pick there for the fodder. But... It's not bad. All right. Waz is the icon pick next. It's a shame the rotation's definitely changed. It's definitely gone a bit downhill since quarter past six. We're not getting our nines and hadges and whatnot anymore. But it's still been better than most icon picks we've had during the year. Like, it feels like the pack weight is the best out of any icon pick we've had for a very, very long time at least. So we'll take that. We have two icon picks now on the second account. This account is cracked already. But... Let's see if it gets any better. All right, first one. What we saying, EA? Going to be nice. We'll take that. Grace of the game, Hernandez. If you know, if this card gets two more upgrades, it's already five star, five star. It's got a good playstyle pluses. This card will be really nice with two upgrades. And then we have got the second one now. What we saying? Okay, the second one's a bit of an L. Unfortunately, since the rotation change, we're seeing a lot of Rauls. We're definitely seeing a lot of Rauls. And the store broke. What just happened? Hello. I think we've got something in the store to open as well, apparently. We've got some some, pack, some decent pack to open. Uh, 85. Oh, 90 plus tots upgrade. 85 times 7 best of nations first. No make your mark. Of, of course. <sighs> Whatever, EA. Whatever. I'm just discarding. I'm discarding Kimmick. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm angry. All right. 90 plus tots upgrade. What are we saying? Brazil. Right midfielder. From... NC Courage. No way. It's Carolyn Nicoli. Actually, not a bad one. 
Actually, not bad at all, to be fair. That's all right. That's actually okay. You take that. Um, five star, five star. That's not a bad card. I didn't realize that was actually a decent one. 96 rated. We'll take that. That's actually a dub. All right, Michael's second player pick now. Come on, EA. Pay out for Michael, please. Who's it going to be? Yeah, that rotation change, man. Two, hey, hey, Zola's pointing at right. Right's pointing up. And then Van der Sar's not pointing at all. All right, we have got the second one for Dario now. We've opened, like, a lot of these player picks. We've opened, like, 20, 25 of these player picks. Let's see what we get. That's pain. All right, we have got two more for Cridian now. Let's see if he can get something good. Come on, EA. Let's get some great to the game icons again. Okay, well, ask and you shall receive. The the thing is, all three of those cards are actually worth a little bit. Hernandez is definitely the better one there, I think. Uh, come on, let's get a, let's get a Dalglish. Let's get a Stoichkov. You know, Stoichkov. Ooh, Rio. That's an interesting one. That's a really interesting one. Is this card still expensive? He is. He's very expensive still. That's solid. I mean, this card is really nice. I actually packed this card during Team of the Year when he was like 4 million coins or something crazy. And he's very good in game. So we'll absolutely take that. Thank you very much, GA. Solid. All right. We go again. Those last two were decent. Maybe these are heating up again. I would say these have been cracked, to be fair, with some of the cards that we've packed. Blanc is okay. Not insane. But it's okay. Uh, I actually use him in my main team and he's, he is still decent. Anticipating Aerial Plus is like god tier for CBs this stage. By the way, just for reference, this is my team on my second account and I don't even play on this account anymore. How disgusting is that? That team is ridiculous. Saka, De Jong, Cavadio, Hadji, crazy. All right, icon pick numero 30, the last one of the icon picks. I've got some clips from yesterday as well to put into this video as well so you guys will see those. Uh, but the last icon pick of the video, if you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you're new around here, let's see what we end it off with. Abilie. That's not bad. 94 Abilie is decent, to be fair. Um, I don't know how expensive she is, but it's still a decent card. It could have been a lot worse. She's what, like 450-ish? We'll take that. That's okay. All right. First premium make your mark week two guarantee pack. We have got ourselves Harry Kane, who is not a make your mark, but we do have a Copper America make your mark. I mean, I'm down for a cheeky, I don't know, someone good. That's not someone good, is it? Murillo, right back from Marseille and Panama, who likely gets no upgrades. And this is why this promo is just awful. Because, like, pa like he's just not... Like, he will probably get the chemistry boost if he starts with Panama, and that's literally it. Like, they're not keeping two clean sheets, and he's not making five appearances. I think it's just stupid. So... Anyway, uh, 20k, let's go. Big dubs. All right, second one. Now, we do get a Euros player this time. We've got a Chilean left back. So, we're starting off with a copper card, actually, from Toulouse. Uh, don't know what rating he is, though. Oh, he's 93. This could be all right, then. Uh, Stanisic. Could be really... Like, if this card can play CB, could be okay. I think I don't think Croatia are getting through the group, though. So, again, it's another one that probably won't, doesn't get upgrades. Uh, he can play CB. Six foot two. The playstyles are okay for a CB. They're not terrible. Is he actually over 100k? No, I don't think he is. I think that was probably his price range before or something. If he's over 100k, I'll be happy with that. We'll take 100k back. Suazo, maybe 25, 30k. Chile actually could do pretty well, so that one's not too bad. We'll list him up as well. And then we get a couple of fodder cards here as well to send to the transfer list and discard the rest. All right, make your mark. Duo guarantee numero uno. We have an Italian centre mid Fratesi or Fratesi. Go on, let's get someone good behind that. Please, EA. Ozjan. Not ideal. Not, not, not great, unfortunately. And uh, let's just say Turkey aren't doing great against Portugal at the moment. We've got Fratesi, Suazo, Murillo. Fratesi's not bad, but again, like, he's just not getting upgrades, I don't think. I don't think I think Italy will get knocked out in the next, in the knockout rounds like very early. I just they just don't look great at the moment. So unfortunately, that's not ideal. But we go again. We got six in that pack. All right, we go again. Who would this one be? We have Fratesi again. Not ideal, is it? Not a great start. Watch me get the exact same back to back. Could you imagine? Oh no, we get to Stegen, the dumbest promo card ever. I know I'm being really negative. I apologize. Like. 
I am, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But this is the stupidest promo card I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, cannot get an upgrade. Literally cannot get an upgrade. It makes no sense. He is the backup goalkeeper. He can't get an upgrade unless, unless this card gets the clean sheets despite not playing. It just doesn't make sense. He won't he won't make his debut, so he's not getting plus chemistry, right? I think he has to actually play in order to get the, the, the clean sheets. And he won't because he's the backup goalkeeper. And he's not going to make five appearances. Oh, anyway, and the worst part is he was released in Team 2. EA know he's the backup goalkeeper. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm calming down now. All right, John's ripping his premium make your mark guarantee. This is not the duo pack. It's just the single pack which is tradable as well, and I think bad. Most tradable packs just don't seem to pay out, like, ever. And you go and get yourself kiddies. Disappointing. But this is my point. For some reason, tradable packs just... I think EA turned down the pack away like crazy. Right, this is the duo guarantee now, though. He's got himself an Austrian CB Danso. This card actually looks pretty good, by the way. Like, actually, this card looks decent. Um, the only annoying thing is, I, I just really need Anticipate Plus on my CBs. I really do. I know he's bad, but I really do. Is that Joao Neves? Ooh, look at that for a pack. It's honestly pretty decent, to be fair. That is solid. Joao Neves and Danso. I don't know price-wise for either of those cards. Uh, Joao Neves is about 300k-ish, roughly. Danso is about 100k. It's not terrible. You've got Broya in there as well. He's about 60k. Um, that's, that's better than mine, to be fair. Better than mine. 